Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is Ginger Adventures here with a hopefully quick tutorial on how to build an eight foot by 30 inch workbench. Here it goes. Be eight feet long by 30 inches deep by 37 inches tall. Um, a half inch taller than six foot, so it's good old six foot and a half. And my goal is to have a little more height just in case I want to trim it down in the future to fit a table saw. I don't currently have one, but I'd rather not add height. Easier to take it away by just cutting off an inch or two later on. Um, standard workbench height is right around 36 inches. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with 37. So my first cut. In order to accomplish that, it's going to be these four by four. These are going to be cut to 36 and a quarter, accommodating for the fact that my particle board, my OSB, is three quarters of an inch thick. So, here we go. Okay, so I've decided that my next cut has got to be 25 inches these two by fours that are going to be going on the outsides of these four by fours that's going to connect those so 25 inches are going to be set, uh, separated allowing for an inch and a half on each side of the two by fours running long along the top of my workbench totaling for now 28 inches leaving two inches on the working side just in case I have to clamp something down to the bench. You never know when uh, when you have to clamp something down, so I'm gonna leave two inches. Again, two by fours, cut to 25 inches. It's gonna be separating those four by fours. I get my 25 allowing for those runners. And the spacing at one and a half inches a piece. That should work great. I'm gonna be cutting four of those. One for the top on each side, and then again, about, I imagine, 10 inches off the bottom on the bottom. Here we go. So oh, I had a streak of genius there. Instead of cutting into those new eight foot studs, I grabbed from my scrap pile and I've got four pieces that should be perfect. Let's cut them down to 25s. Check it out. All right, so now that I've got these 25 inch two by fours cut, I'm going to be pre-drilling and setting them right onto the four by four. Okay, so for this job, I'm gonna be using that three inch grabber and it's gonna be six in each one. Okay, so uh, brief change of plans. Instead of putting that outside support, that second support rather on the outside, I'm gonna put it on the inside so that when I go to lay that second shelf down below, I won't have to do much cutting. I can just lay that on top and then the other one inside and it'll rest nicely just perfectly. Um, a rather arbitrary number, but I've chosen 12 inches. Um, it seems to be just a good height to allow for distance between this shelf and the upper and maybe a good foot rest. So uh, who knows? Let's see if it works out. All right, now we've got two sides built. Pretty nice, we're about 30 minutes in. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and lay each of those supports on the sides. Should be good. Hey guys, sorry, just a quick break. Uh, check out how stinking hot my wife is. No. Wifey, wifey, wifey. That looks weird. Wifey, what are you doing? Dang. She's stinking hot! Ow, ow, bummer. Sorry, back to building. What can I do? All right, so you can tell I'm making this up as I go, but uh, I want to lay this 
just in line with those others that had the bottoms at 12 inches. And in order to do that, that means I now have an extra three inches on this end because these were set to the outside. These are set to the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down two standard eight foot to uh, seven foot nine. Here we go. Check this action out. Got one side done, so on to the next. Alrighty, so now we got all the supports on. Um, what I want to do next is put the bot this that first level on. I'm gonna stand it up right first, get through every step, stand it up right, put that level on, and then the top because this is gonna require some cutting and measuring, and I don't want to have to have the other the top in the way. So we're gonna go with that that part first, and uh, yep. Okay, so it looks like we're going to cut in, call it three and a half inches, twice, so seven. To have a little bit of fudging room, I'm going to go seven and a half. That's it, seven and a half inches cutting off of that second layer. Alrighty, so... We're making it. I forgot that I intentionally chose 30, knowing that it would leave 19 inches um, for that to allow a little bit of space down here, so I wouldn't kick my shins when I'm working on my workbench. Well, I forgot that with my design, so I had to adjust, had to cut it and trim it down. Now it's working. So here we go. Let's screw it in. Okay, so that one's on, not perfect. I could have left another three quarters of an inch in length, but that's okay. Now let's see if the top fits. Knowing me, it probably won't. Hallelujah! Holy crap, it's a miracle it fits. Perfect. Half inch on each end. Front. Yes! Woo! Man, that feels good. You know, if there's one main reason why I like to build stuff, create stuff, work with my hands, because it feels great. I did have to uh, put a little clamp on here because this stud in the back was bowing out. So I just pulled it in and then uh, sunk some screws in it. Should be nice and tight now. I'm pretty excited, guys. I mean, I might be a noob. I might make a lot of mistakes along the way, but uh, I'm getting there, I guess. I'm getting there. Let's do a full 360 for you. So again, it's 30 inches deep. It is eight feet long. 37 inches high. I'm pretty excited. That is a really comfortable uh, height for me. Actually, right about my hip. I was trying to decide how I wanted to do that when I uh, was, was just kind of thinking through it. The countertops in my house were 35 inches. They're a little bit low. I don't always like leaning over, so if I can kind of just have a natural, nicest, comfortable stance, then I think that's going to be a good solution for me. 
So, uh, again, check it out. Pretty excited. I think total budget on this one, um, outside of a couple of other tools I had to buy, just the cost of wood and screws, I would say it's right about 175, 185. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I love having fun. I'm, I'm having fun learning, and I appreciate the support. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see. I plan on doing some more videos on how to deck this thing out um, and add some more pieces to my uh, my growing garage here, my growing workshop. So thanks so much. Till next time. Peace.